guys, my name is Tommy, and this is the Gallery Backyard Barbecue. Today's show, a little something different. I'm going to take a three pound chuck roast, season it up with this uh, competition cow powder by Uncle Steve Shake. I'm going to cook it in the uh, Master Bill 10 at 50 at 275 with some post oak down in the uh, ash catcher and also mixed in with the fuel. Looking at about two, two and a half hours, I want to get some good smoke on the meat. Then I'm going to Dutch oven it with some ranch seasoning, brown gravy, some pepperoncino peppers. You know the deal. It's going to be Mississippi style. Of course, I'll twist it up with an onion, maybe a little sour cream, and we're going to put it over some pasta. All that is coming right up. Alright everybody, my name is Tommy and this is the Gallery Back There at Barbecue and we got a lot to cover today and I have to tell you, I played this recipe in my head over and over and over, man, and it just sounds so good, so I want to get right into it, but first, let me just tell you to smash that out. Subscribe button, hit the like button, ring the bell, blah blah blah, you know the jazz, just do it already. And look, comment on this video down below, especially if you've not commented before. Let me know you're out there. And uh, look, that's it. Let's get right into the recipe. Alrighty, look, first off, this is your normal Mississippi pot roast, Mississippi chuck, whatever. And basically what I have here is two three pound chuck roasts. And look, I'm going to get that cow powder from Uncle Steve's Shake on both of them. And you want to get all the sides, including the, uh, you know, the ends, the sides, the bottoms, the tops. Just get it all over the place because you've got a lot of meat to cover. And there's our second one. I feel this one has a nice grain and some good fat. Look, if you're interested in this Uncle Steve's shake, I got links down below. Now listen, if you order from him, send him a private message in the order and tell him you want that gallery backyard barbecue custom label put on your shake. And I believe he will do it. All right, so look, I got my pit up, like I said, at 275 Fahrenheit. I got the post oak mixed in with the uh, fuel, and I got post oak down in the ash catcher. And I'm thinking about a two, two and a half hours of smoke should give it plenty of flavor. All right, guys, let me tell you where we're at. We're about two and a half hours into the cook. I took a little peek at the meat and we're about 140 Fahrenheit. It's got a pretty good color. Let me take you in and give you a, a look. All right, look, so basically what I want to do here is I want to do some basic prep with the uh, onions, get my uh, cast iron skillet ready to go on the uh, pit. So let's do that.
Now I'm gonna add a couple splashes of water just to get that, uh, get those uh, chunky little goodnesses off that uh, tin and get it into the uh, cast iron skillet. That's a lot of flavor right there. Oh, yeah, it is. All right, at this point, we'll get our ranch, powdered ranch dressing in and also our brown gravy in with a uh, mushroom gravy in. Oh, and of course, Molly's standing by. She's been at my uh, feet on uh, both cooks today. And of course, our bordicini uh, peppers in. You can get some of that uh, juice in there also. That is good stuff. Prep. I got a, a little yellow onion here. We want to do about quarter inch slices, and we want to get that in the uh, get that in the uh, beef and chuck. Seventy-five Fahrenheit. We're going to take this up to fork tender. I'm guessing about another three hours or so. All right, look, we are coming up on that three hour mark. sure she's pull apart tender right fork tender oh man all righty look we know she's done I'm gonna uh well, I'm gonna put the fork down, I'm gonna get it set up, and we'll take this in for that all-important taste test. Oh, yeah. All right, everyone, that is it. Total cook time on this bad boy it was about two hours of just smoke, and then we put her in the, uh, in the kettle, and we did another approximately two and a half to three hours. So we're looking at about a five hour total cook time on 275 Fahrenheit. Let's take a look. I mean, where do I start with this bad boy? We are fall apart tender, of course. Look, I'm not really sure how I'm going to serve this. There's so many ways you could uh, kind of shred it up. You could put it on bread. You could put it in a bowl over, uh, over pasta. You could put it in a bowl over rice where you can just eat it like this. So what I want to do here, I'm just going to fix me up a little bit for an on-screen taste test, of course. This just, uh, this just pulls apart, man, pulls apart. 
and I got Molly sitting uh, sitting right there in between the uh, cameras. I want to get a little onion in here. And hit it with a little of that sauce. Oh. I gotta go a dab of sour cream in mine. while I uh, fix me up a taste test. <laughs> I mean, I'll be dipping, I'll be uh, flipping, dipping, you name it, I'll be doing it later, but right now I'm just gonna fix it on a little piece of bread. And we got a nice, it's Halloween, we got a nice fall day here in Jersey. It's probably about, I'd say maybe 55, 60 degrees, so this is, uh, this is perfect. Oh man. Guys, first off, I can taste the uh, Uncle Steve seasoning right off the bat. For some reason, I'm picking a lot of peppery, uh, unless it's in one of the gravies, which I don't think so. I'm picking up a lot of pepper, a lot of pepper flavor, um, which is a welcome uh, with this kind of uh, with this kind of meal, you want that hearty, beefy, uh, peppery type flavor in this kind of meal. So it definitely has that. The sour cream for me, I don't know if anyone else is using the sour cream, but I just thought that would be a nice added touch to this type of meal. Man, that is freaking good. Oh yeah. God, man, I don't I don't know what else to say. I mean, the chuck roast, man, I, I just love cooking with the chuck roast because there's just so many things you could do with it, man. From poor man burnt ends, you could do it like a brisket, low and slow, you could shred it. You could make beef sandwiches out of it. And then you could do something like this, which is totally off the hook. Uh, this like a Mississippi slasm of jasmine or whatever you call it, man. This is just good stuff right here. And I uh, definitely hope you give this a try. And look, I'm gonna leave a couple other Chuck Roast videos here for you to check those out. I'll see you there, and man, I will see you soon. Oh, yeah. Wow.